Hey guys, it's Brie. So you might have heard me mention in some of my other videos, if you haven't seen any of them, go and check them out, they're on my channel, about how switching to reusable match products can affect your period. You can experience changes with your period, things like shorter periods, lighter periods, and less cramping. And I'm constantly asked, well, how does that happen? Like, how does that work? And the truth is, I don't really know, and I didn't really know either how many people were affected by the switch. So I decided to do a little survey, some of you may remember this from back in an another video, and almost 1,000 of you took part in this, which is absolutely fantastic. I think it was 998, it was very nearly 1,000, but I just couldn't wait any longer to correlate the data. So. When I did this, I did get rid of people who said that they used disposables still most of the time. You had to be using disposables at least half of the time to have been counted in this particular um, survey that I did. And I also just did the, um, there were a number of other options, but it would go on forever if I went through them all. And there were only like one or two percent of people who experienced the kind of not so normal changes. So I thought I would go through them and just tell you how many, there were five sections, but I'm, I'm only, only correlated for because the fifth one was for people aged 46 and over and there were only four people who took part in that so didn't really feel like I could do a survey with it but I'm just going to go straight into it so if you're interested in how many people and what different ages the most common change is then stay tuned I have my laptop down here so that's what I'm going to be looking at so for the 16 and under section there were 245 people who took part in this and who got through used it more than half the time uh, 13% saw no change, which means that 87% of you who switched to reusable menstrual products experienced some change with your period. 87%! That really did shock me. Uh, that's almost 90% of you. So, 33% experienced more regular periods. 54% experienced shorter periods, and that was the most common um, thing that they experienced, so shorter periods for 16 and under. 50% experienced less cramping and 52% experienced light periods. I have to say the less cramping part shocked me the most because I always thought that with the younger you are, the less likely it is that it has an effect on your cramping levels. But apparently it does. So the most common one there was 54% and that was for shorter periods. Then for the 17 to 25 year olds group, 354 of you took part in this. 19% of you felt you got more regular periods. 47% of you felt your periods got shorter, 48% of you experienced less cramping, 21% of you saw no change, and 79% of you saw some change. So 79% of people who switched who were between the ages of 17 and 25 saw some change in their period. And 45% of you said you got lighter periods. So the most common one there was less cramping with 48% of you experiencing that. So almost half, almost half of you experienced less cramping. Uh, the 26 to 35 year olds group had 197 entries, 19% uh, of you saw no change and 81% of you saw a change, which again shocked me because I thought the older you got the less likely it was you saw change. But I should, I should have read in the section before, I should, should have read the amount of change first, but I'll do that from now on. So 12% of you saw, thought your periods got more regular, 46% of you found your periods got shorter, 47% of you felt you got less cramping, and 51% of you felt your periods got lighter. So for the 26 to 35 year olds, periods got lighter was the most common change. And the last one is the 36 to 45 year old group. Not as many people took part in this, but there were still 42, so I figured I'd do it, but it obviously isn't going to be as accurate. Uh, so of them, 40% saw no change and 60% saw change, which didn't surprise me because I've always felt that like the older you are, the longer you've had your periods, the less change you kind of likely to see, but you're still over 50% likely to see a change. 14% of you felt your periods got more regular, 40% of you felt your periods got shorter, 33% of you got less cramping, and 26% of you experienced light periods. So shorter periods was the most common symptom there. So I hope that helps you guys. I know some of you are interested in seeing these results. I will also type them down below if you want to have a look at the then nicely laid out and not just me reading them out to you. Um, but yeah, I hope this video is okay guys. I try and keep Sunday because this video is for Monday and I try to keep Sunday as like a, a nice easy video day because it is my day off and I like to, you know, get one day of the week I can relax. So I hope this video is okay for you guys and you found the info interesting because I certainly found it interesting to find out how many of you experienced change and especially in that younger group. You know, almost 90% under 16. That's kind of crazy. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.